In the scripture, all you ever see is Jesus doing good. He never done anything bad. Never. Not once. Well, isn't that, that's kind of odd when you, when you compare that with what you hear. Some, something's not the same. Exactly. So does that mean, does that mean that one of them's wrong? Mm-hmm. Sure does. That means one's not accurate. But, but this is, this has come from Jesus' words himself. He said, if you have seen me, you've seen the Father. Sure, that's awesome to me because I'll tell you what that does. It lets me see that God is a good God. He's not a bad God. He doesn't do bad things. He's a good God. Somebody say, yeah, but uh, look, leave the butts out. Right. You're wrong. You're wrong. Yeah, but it, no, no excuses. Nope, you're wrong. God did not. How can you say it? Because of what Jesus said. When you've seen me, you've seen the Father. You can't see me without seeing the Father because I'm doing what he says. I'm doing everything he says to do. And when you see me, you see the works of the Father. So, if it was true that what a lot of people say and a lot of the churches believe around because of things they've heard through the years, then Jesus would have had to do something bad. He would have had to have done something. He'd had to put sickness on this person. You, did you ever see Jesus go around and, and put sickness on a person? Oh, just like Brother Jonathan was saying, what about the, what about the woman that was took in the very act of adultery. Why didn't he put something on her? Why, well, it'd been the best candidate ever was. Caught right in the very act, right? Couldn't got a better candidate. He should have said, well, you're cursed. I curse you. You'll never amount to anything. Blah. Right? <clears throat> Is that right? Yes, sir. Well, he never done that. He never done it to anybody. Not once. Now just for doing that, I'm going to put leprosy on you. Bam. No leprosy. No nothing. The Bible says that he went about doing good, healing all that was oppressed of the devil. All right. Why did he do that? Because that's what God was doing. That's what God was doing. God anointed him to do good. He anointed him to destroy the works of the devil. The works of the devil. They want, remember, the, remember the story uh, where the, he was preaching in the, in the synagogue that day and he looked way in the back and there was a woman bowed over. We talked about this before, but to see it, th this needs to be talked about. He was, she was bowed over and he told her to come there and he said, now, you ought to be loosed. loosed. Didn't say you ought to be bound. Well, you, ain't, you know you ain't living right, so boom, there you go. I put something on you. Right. Put something on you. We'll, we'll humble you real good. Amen? Sure. Amen. If we, we'll break one of your legs, if that don't humble you enough, we'll break both of them. Love. You'll be humble after a while. Amen? Right. And, but see, that's what... That's the reflection that people are trying to, trying to give you about God. Oh, God done this. God done that. Jesus never did. So that tells me that God don't do it either. So there's enough truth right here in the last part of this verse to make you free. Gives light. It tells you the truth. See, this is men's ideals. Yes. These thoughts and these, and these uh, things have never come from the Holy Spirit because he wouldn't do it. He will, he will give you the true reflection of who God is. That's right. what he came to do. We'll see he said, I came that, that you may know the truth. The Holy Spirit came to give you the truth. 
to reveal Jesus to us. That's what the Holy Spirit really does. He's not giving you all these thoughts that, oh, God's a, a mean God and, and God, you know, such stupid things that people come up with. And, and I'll tell you why they're so stupid, because they come from the devil. Right. They really originated there. You just picked them up and you're passing them on. That's how stupid they are. Predestination. What about predestined? The only thing we're predestined to is to be the children of God. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You can't find predestination in that, can you?